Welcome, everybody. We have yet another pretty weird and out there type change. However, I think it's super cool. I think it's relatively fitting, and I think it makes Heatmore stand out a lot more than if it were just a pure fire type, because it does have a lot of competition as a strong, bulky, slow, mixed attacking pure fire type in the form of Flareon and a few others like Torkoal. Um, well, who's not mixed attacking, but my point is, you know, slower, bulkier, strong, uh, fire types. Not that Flareon is slow, but hopefully you get what I'm trying to say. Um, there are two other fire steel types. Of course, there's still Heatran, and then Mike Mortar is also now a fire steel type. You can check out that video, or you can check out all those changes in the description below and that Google Sheet. Most importantly, by the way, while you're doing that, if you have yet to do so and you're new here and you just happen to be clicking on this video, make sure you check out the description because there is a link to every single move buff and change. There are 600 plus move buffs and changes in his hacks, so you should definitely give those a look. Those really drastically affect the way that the Pokemon will function. <coughs> And I do not have time to talk about every single little one in this video. Uh, I did have to drop heat, heat more speed a lot as well, but before I talk about the stats and how great the abilities are, uh, which you can switch between using infinite usability capsules, by the way, I want to quickly give a little bit more insight into why I made him a fire steel type, because I acknowledge that this might be a pretty weird type change for some people. Um, I've always felt that Heatmore looks pretty artificial. Like, if you look at him, he's got that weird-ass, like, engine body and he's got like the weird things wrapping around his body and the weird radiator handcuffs and then his tail is literally like a radiator um i'm not saying he's literally made of steel but i think that the part steel typing in a rom hack strictly in a rom hack fits decently well for a dual type not that i have anything against pure types but there are a lot of them um and i don't want he more to fall into obscurity as a slow frail mixed attacker like it used to because it's bad uh, in vanilla games it, it is not good it has a good move pool and that's really all it has going for it um sadly uh however with these new abilities and this new bulk uh i did have to drop its speed because 535 base total is mostly standard for like these non-evolving guys of course there's a couple others that are 550 and 575 but heat more and especially durant do not fit that uh based on total durant wouldn't need it durant would be absolutely like pretty broken with the five fit with a 500 uh, unless i just put the stats in somewhere useless like special attack uh and so heat more i want it to be the same stat total as durant therefore heat more is 535 um which is still a great base that total of course but he is a mix attacker so i did have to drop that speed just so he can have good offenses and still be bulky um he has a very good 85 base hp already uh, and i didn't change that because he's not you know he's a decent size pokemon about four seven but he's pretty heavy relatively speaking at least and he's kind of fat you know he's got that belly so i figured keep the good hp stat and then he has 101 in both his defenses so this kind of makes him heat train at home um heat train no longer has flash fire for for this reason specifically by the way if you watch that video and you're wondering why i gave heat train rough skin and weak armor this is why uh heat more has flash fire so heat more now has heat trans old typing well not old typing but you understand uh, it's a really good typing as we all know fire steel is very good well, it does have a four times weakness to ground, which is not a big deal. You just don't use it against the ground move. It's not that hard. Um, you have incredible resist to grass, ice, steel fairy, and bug are all four times resist, especially that four times resist to bug. That's super important in a hack like this when there's all kinds of powerful bug types running around, especially ones with tinted lens. So if you have a four times resist, you actually still resist bug as a, as a, with tinted lens. It makes it on a two times resist, which is great. That's a huge, huge viable trait. Um, you are bulkier than Mike Mortar by a good amount. A good amount. Uh, you have the same HP, I believe, but a little bit better defenses, just because, I don't know, I think it fits now that he's a steel type for him to be bulky and slower. Um, ideally, he would have somewhere around 50 base speed, more logically, just to fit his design, but this is fine. Um, and then he has all kinds of other resists, by the way. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine resists, and then one, two, three, four, five of those are four times resists. And then you, of course, have two immunities to fire and poison when well, you have flash fire active. So you might be looking at these stats and say, okay, well, he's still a better special attacker than physical. You didn't buff his physical attack at all. I did in the form of Tough Claws. Tough Claws brings his respectable and solid 97 base attack to absolutely insane levels. Uh, the exact math is probably somewhere around waist 130, 140, but let me check really quickly. 97, it's 293 at level 100 with a neutral nature. Let's just put that a minute, just for the fun of it. 322. 322 times 1.3. <clears throat> oh my god, 419 attack, which is that's much higher than I thought. Um, I'm a little bit tired. 440. 419, I said. Yeah, 419. 
yeah, about 141 base attack. Okay, no, I was, I, was, I was actually not off at all. About 141 base attack uh, is what Heatmore has with Tough Claws active. So you can use that infinite usability capsule when you don't need flash fire, because not every fight you're going to need flash fire. Not only do you have six, five other teammates to handle those fire type moves, you also, uh, you know, not every fight is going to even have one that you need to switch in on. However, flash fire is so great because you do get that fire type boost to your attacks and you have that immunity to fire, which is really useful um, in a hack like this, especially when not a lot of fire types have flash fire anymore, because usually it's pretty situational. Um, there are a lot of non-fire types that have flash fire, though, uh, a couple at least, like Dusk Locks and Weezing and a couple more that I have planned, but in general, great ability for Heatmore. Um, <clears throat> both abilities are great, and Tough Claws is very fitting, looking at those giant big Eater Claws. Um, and again, it makes him a very strong physical attacker. You also have good setup moves, which aren't that important in this hack because setup is nerfed, but you have strong physical moves, like a Priority is a big deal, so you have Pyro Dash and Bullet Punch for physical priority, and then you have Ignite for special fire type priority. And then you have all kinds of good utility moves and healing moves, like Morning Sun and Yawn and Parting Shot and you know, Will-O-Wisp and all this other nice stuff. Uh, first Impression is another nice priority move. You have powerful stabs like Flash Cannon, Iron Pale are both your strongest steel type stabs, 110 base power, 90% accurate. Um, you have strong coverage moves, very strong fire type moves, especially later on. You get stuff like Blazing Outburst and Blazing Assault, which are absurdly powerful moves. Uh, Blazing Outburst being a low distribution move that I gave, I give the Pokemon that I might that might need that power boost. So Blazing Outburst helps him that 180 base power. Essentially, it's just a reusable Z move that drops your special attack stat by four, while Blast Burn is a standard one that drops your special attack stat by two. That's 150 base power, which is still extremely powerful. So, yeah, uh, he has great coverage. You know, Giga Drain, Grass Knot, Power Whip, Solar Beam, Solar Blade. Wild Charge, Thunder Punch, Rock Climb, Rock Slide, Stone Edge, Play Rough, all kinds of good stuff. Scorching Sand, Seismic Fist. I even gave them Scald because they're one of the few fire types that learned Rain Dance. And I felt like since Embor isn't good at using Scald anymore, it was kind of, you know, for example, stuff like, stuff like Set to Scorch has Scald in Gen 8, I believe. So I figured, you know, it kind of fits Heatmore's vibe to get Scald, in my opinion. Um, and I just think it's a cool little coverage move for him. It's not that strong. It's only 75 base power now, but still a nice little option to hit a specific Pokemon. Um, Assault Fast sets would be pretty good with like Giga Drain on Heatmore uh, or Drain Punch, either one. Uh, and and that's really nice. Uh, Raging Fury is a great move on him with Tough Claws. Is this on loop? I hope it is. It is. Uh, yeah, it's really quick now. Yeah, Raging Fury is very strong. That's 50 base power, but it doubles to 100 base power if you move last and you have a 35 base speed. So you're probably going to be moving last and you get plus one attack each time you click that. So that's a really strong move. Uh, you know, you have other powerful stabs like Laceration, Fire Lash, Burn Up is super cool. Burn Up always burns 140 base power and it removes your fire typing until you switch out. So you can actually become a pure steel type, which is situationally pretty damn cool. And you still keep Flash Fire. So you could use Burn Up, burn the opponent, get a big hit off, and then you're a pure steel type with Flash Fire. Um, so that's a pretty fun little thing you could take advantage of. Uh, Belly Drum is very good with your Power Dash and Bullet Punch with Tough Claws um, and Sucker Punch as well with the ITM. So those three moves plus Belly Drum is very strong. You have the good, you have, you have good enough bulk to get that off as well. Uh, however, like I said earlier, setup is nerfed. There's a lot of anti-setup stuff uh, put into place to stop you from doing that as easily. Uh, Amnesia is pretty cool. Um, Stockpile Swallow is buffed. Swallow gives you. 100% uh, HP no matter what, and is priority. So if you have one stockpile boost and three turns later, you click Swallow, you heal to full HP. That's pretty awesome. Um, in general, he's just a really good, stinky, mixed fire steel type with great coverage, powerful stab moves, good bulk, and good abilities. Um, like I said, you're trading flash fire for that 140-ish base attack, uh, which is significantly higher than your 116 base special attack. However, if you're running flash fire, of course, your special attack will be higher. However, you also need to keep in mind that your IVs and EV, uh, your IVs in nature is not guaranteed. So so you can get like a different set of IVs that make your special attack much worse than your physical attack and vice versa. So that's another reason you would be switching around your moves. However, I did design every single Pokemon to be switching between its abilities and moves. Uh, that's by design. You know, you have those infinite ability capsules, you have those infinite EV training items to really customize your sets and that makes, makes attackers a hell of a lot better. So yeah, thanks so much for listening everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, I know it's a little bit of a weird type change, so if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. I think it's pretty cool, and I think it was kind of necessary to make it more not bad because Pure Fire with like middling bulk, because Pure Fire with 85, 101, 101 is not that impressive uh, in this hack, at least in a hack like this. It's not that impressive at all. Uh, and there's already two Pure Fire types with Drought. Three, actually. Holy shit, there's three of them, so I wasn't about to give more Drought to and have four of them. There's no other way to make him better. Uh, fire Ground or Fire Rock. Fire Rock is poopy. Uh, it's only good on my cargo because of his abilities, and then. Fire around is also like camera up to just outclass him, so fire steel is the best for you um, to make him a not bad Pokemon. So yeah, thank you everybody and peace.